This summer has brought in the warmest weather ever recorded across the globe, according to the National Oceanic and Atmosphere Administration. But for students of the University of Hawaii at Manoa, this means more than a couple hot days. Hawaii is currently under flash flood watches and high surf advisories due to this year's hurricane season. Over a third of students here are out of state or international students, and for them, this weather change has come as a shock. I was from a little town in Oregon, and it didn't have a lot of storms at all. For students who aren't familiar with Hawaii's weather patterns, multiple storm warnings have caused a sense of panic. You're not prepared for the weather as much, and my family's really nervous thinking I'm in some big storm all the time. No, I have no, nothing prepared. I don't know what I would do. However, another problem arises when speaking to some students who called Hawaii home, even before attending this university. It's just, all I think of is like really hot whenever a hurricane comes, but then it never really hits here. So it's kind of disappointing because it never hits here. I haven't really been in an, I haven't been in an experience where, else, where something's actually happened to me. So I just kind of brush off the war warnings that we get. I probably shouldn't do that, but that's what I do. The NOAA reports that Tropical Storm Gemini has a high 70 to 100 percent chance of forming into a tropical cyclone in the next 48 hours. But Hawaii residents are speaking out about how frequent warnings can affect their attitude towards storms. They all pretty much do the same. We all just kind of talk about it. Oh, it's just going to blow over again. Yeah, it, is. it gets kind of, and my like my family just doesn't care anymore. <laughs> Sarah Rice, the community programs manager at the Department of Public Safety here on campus, says that as far as safety goes, it's it's really situationally dependent. I mean, last year we had we closed campus because of Hurricane Julio. We were expecting to see some damaging effects from that, and our island really didn't. But we closed it as a precaution. She says that there are a list of things that students and faculty here at Manoa should do to prepare for a storm. Our first tip is just to stay informed. So to keep updated on the latest news and weather information through National Weather Service, local media, and then also the UH Manoa emergency page, which is that hawaii.edu slash emergency, um, to check that often, you know, when, they, when, when you hear that a hurricane is coming or that we have some sort of weather related um, incident. Stash a bag with an extra blanket, flashlight, batteries, first aid kit, and then a few days worth of non-perishable food and water, just in case, um, for whatever reason, um, we have a power outage or anything like that. And then any students in residence halls are encouraged to contact their um, RA or RD just to get any additional information on how that would work for them. Prepare your room or apartment by closing and locking windows, storing items, and then um, unplugging electronic equipment. And so kind of piggybacking onto that is um, backing up any computer data um, with a hard drive, external hard drive, something like that. UH Manoa already has you know, student residents and faculty residents on campus, and so any of those people would be given instructions on where to go. But otherwise, um, we would hope that our students, faculty, and staff that don't live on campus would pay attention to whatever is in their local area. The wonderful thing about hurricanes is that we can predict them several days out. So usually people know that a hurricane is coming several days before it gets here. It isn't something that can start at a moment's notice like an earthquake can. And so that is the luxury that we have is time and time to let our community know and time to prepare. And so we would make sure that we sent out information to let people know that well ahead of it actually getting here. As the hurricane season continues, it is important for students and faculty of UH Manoa to understand the severity of these events and to stay informed and be prepared. Erin Iwasa reporting for Kaleo, Ohio.